Hello friends, welcome to Maths Nerd. Today, I will tell you about the distance formula. Distance formula is an important part of coordinate geometry. So let's bring a graph sheet here. And now let us get two points, which are minus two, minus three, this red point, and four, five, the blue point. And now let's see the distance between them which is denoted by this dotted line what if i told you to find the distance between these two points and you have no ruler let us assume so you cannot uh, simply tell by uh, you can simply tell by uh, seeing the coordinates if you know the distance formula that is d is equal to the square root of bracket open x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus 1 whole square so now let's say that this is red point is point 1 while the blue point is point 2 so x2 is the x coordinate of point 2 x1 is the x coordinate of point 1 similarly y2 is y coordinate of point 2 and y1 is the y coordinate of point 1 so now using this formula we, we are going to find the distance which is represented by the dotted line between these two points so in that case the x coordinate of x and y coordinate of the second point that is the blue point was 4 and 5 so we have written them and of the red point was minus 2 minus 3 so it is 4 minus minus 2 whole squared and 5 minus minus 3 whole squared and this is all under root so 4 minus minus 2 is 4 plus 2 that is 6 and 5 minus minus 3 is 5 plus 3 that is 8 so d is equal to square root whole square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared so that is d is equal to the square root of 36 plus 64 so d is equal to square root of 100 and d is equal to 10 and if you would Simply plot these two points on the graph paper and measure them using scale, you will find that the distance is exactly 10 units. Now let's see one more example. So here the two points will be minus 4, 1, the blue point which will be our point 2 and 8 and minus 4, the red point which will be our point 1 and the dotted line represents their distance. So let's get into action. D is equal to minus 4 minus 8 whole squared plus 1 minus minus 4 whole squared. That is, we have just simply put the, substituted the values of their coordinates. So minus 4 minus 8 is minus 12. 1 minus minus 4 is 1 plus 4, that is 5. So D is equal to minus 12 squared plus 5 squared. So minus 12 squared is 144, 5 squared is 25. So D is equal to the square root of 144 plus 25. That is the square root of 169. So D is equal to 13 units. Now let's see an important part. That is how this formula works. So let's say that we have two points. The red one and the blue one. And here their coordinates are not important. And their distance is represented by this bold black line. And now let's say that H is the horizontal distance between them. That is the distance between this point to this point. Or simply the distance between their X coordinates. And V is the vertical distance between these two points. That is the distance between this point and this point. That is the difference between their Y coordinates. So, since this is a right triangle, we'll apply the Pythagoras theorem to find this distance. So, d is equal to the square root of h squared plus v squared. But, just, just now we, we, we have, have seen that h is equal to the difference between their x coordinates, that is x2 minus x1, and similarly v is equal to y2 minus y1. So, we'll simply plug in these two values here and here to form our final formula which is we, which is the same one which we have been using 
Therefore, this formula can work for any two points on the graph. Feel free to ask your doubts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos.